All right, so that's it, isn't it? Greg's gone. Um, we were told that, I oh, was told yesterday in News Limited Papers, being the Courier Mail, that Melbourne were the most likely to keep him. And uh, basically, it was a fairly fairly certain that he was staying in Melbourne. Well, that's proved to be absolute nut of rubbish. But then again, what do we expect from a News Limited publication? The thing that upset me through all of this is the fact that we were actually told, or Nicholas Bishop told the few of us who gathered to do the video for Mad Fan a few months ago, or about a month ago, he told us that Greg was going and, you know, it was fairly certain and it was, you know, Brisbane Broncos and, and, and all that. It's turned out to be that way. The thing that upset me then, and it does now, is the fact that he's going to a club that's part-owned by News Limited, who, as you all know, owns the Melbourne Storm. We were upset at the time because, you know, he's such a great footballer and, you know, he's, we, we developed him as a youngster and he's just come up through the ranks and become the footballer that he is under the tutelage of Craig Bellamy. We were upset because we didn't see why Melbourne should have to pay Brisbane, basically, to take him. And as it's been reported, it's not as much as what we first saw, but we're still going to have to fork out some of the bill, which upsets me. News Limited publications over the past month have been here, there, everywhere. They've suggested he's going to the Titans, they've suggested he's going to the Rabbits, they've suggested he's going to Brisbane, and more recently, or as recent as yesterday, suggested he's staying in Melbourne. He's not staying in Melbourne, he's going to Brisbane. So, as again, as I said before, it's absolutely none of rubbish. The sooner we get rid of News Limited, who pretty much have a free reign to do as they please to our club, the better. I'm extremely upset as a supporter and member for so long to see the club being crippled, uh, killed, killed from the inside out by this organisation. And I made a blog a couple of nights ago saying that we needed to side with the beast until they left. I've since changed that thought, to be honest. Um, Mainly in, fa mainly in part due to what's happened today uh, and the fact that, you know, they've just palmed him off onto their other club, being Brisbane. Does that mean that in future, when News Limited are involved, will they again palm a Melbourne Storm player off to the Brisbane Broncos? Because it seems to me that of their three main assets in, like, in this league, in the National Rugby League, being the league itself, the Brisbane Broncos and the Melbourne Storm, it seems that we're the basement for them. It seems that they're putting all their effort, obviously, into the National Rugby League, and then Brisbane, and then Melbourne, which they're putting very little effort into at all. They're using us as a way of topping the others up, and that's exactly what they've done, and they're going to do into the future. I look, I'm really upset because <laughs> we've watched this kid grow up. I, I remember, you know, when he first started, he played on the wing, I think, and. I think he scored in his first game and he showed a bit. And even before that, we were watching games where he was playing for North Devils and um, we knew that, you know, he was something pretty special. But he needed to be guided and, you know, taught properly, which is what he's, what's happened in Melbourne with Craig Bellamy. Obviously, Michael Maguire was here at the time and Stephen Kearney, Alex Corvo, all those type of people. He now goes. And basically the last, you know, five or six years basically count for nothing because obviously his Clive Churchill medal's been stripped because the premiership don't exist anymore. His performance in the 2009 Grand Final, well, what does that mean as we've been stripped of that as well? And now he's going to Brisbane. People from the outside, you know, would probably look at Melbourne and look, oh, judging by the banners from the other last not last week's game with when we played Manly, people obviously don't like the Melbourne Storm, but even them, and I'm sure, as I've spoken to a couple of manly people who actually live here in Melbourne, who, who really do dislike us, but even they are amazed at the fact that News Limited are treating this club with so much contempt. It's treating, it, they're treating the supporters, they're treating the players, and just, you know, the wider rugby league community in Melbourne as fools. we got to stand up to them, guys. I, I'm, I'm sick to death of this. I really am. I... Every day, something else they've done that you know that, that just amazes me, and it shouldn't amaze me because we should come to expect it. But you, you've got to think it in the back of your mind. They still own the club. They've still got to you know do some good things. They've still got the best interests at heart. Well, they don't. They don't. 
they're a poisonous, corrupt bunch of toads, as I posted before on Facebook. They're, 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 a, they're a pack of pricks. They're mongrels. And I don't know how we, as supporters, or as I read comments on, on Facebook, you know, saying, you see people siding with them and, and, and you know, saying, well, they top the club up with money and that. How on earth can people look at this organisation and say they're being good for our, our club? Yes, they may have well topped us up all these years, but the time's now come that we've got to get rid of these pricks. I've, I've, I've likened it to a few of my friends as like having a dog on a chain, basically. We're the dog, you know, they're the clothesline the chain's connected to. The dog can't go anywhere while it's tied to the clothesline. It runs around in circles. It runs a little bit, then pull back. That's the way our club is. But that's the way our club's going to be if News Limited remain. Worst case scenario: What happens in two years if they remain and they don't? They don't leave, and we haven't made a, a noise and a raucous. They're just going to think, well, we're free to just keep doing this, and the club's going to go nowhere. It's going to go nowhere. Well, well, bugger it. I'm, I'm sick of these pricks. I know a lot of you are sick of these pricks. And those of you who are on the fence, just look and read everything and then come to your own conclusion. But, but, but don't for a second, don't for a second think that these pricks have our best interests at heart because they don't. If today doesn't demonstrate that or the sacking of our four directors who basically had the club's interests at heart, if that doesn't do it for you, I don't know what will. The day, the very day that these pricks are gone and those four independent directors being Dr. Rob Moody, Peter Marr, Jerry Ryan and Petra Fawcett are back controlling this club the way that they see fit as they have the best interests at heart is the day that this club can move forward and not a day before. Guys, I urge you all, I, I can't say it enough, banners, signs. Now, I actually can't go to this week's game because I'm playing my own game of football. It's the finals and I, you know, I really regret not being able to be there. But I tell you, I'll have banners for the Sharks games. I'll have banners, I'll have signs, I'll have everything. But what I urge you guys to do for this week while I'm not there, please make banners in my place. Banners, signs, just do everything you can. Make blogs and, 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 and let these pricks, let these pricks know that, that our club is not going to be treated like a whipping boy and their heavy-handed tactics and their corrupt practices, which they think they can just get away with because they have so far, will not continue with us here watching on. Please, guys, I urge you. Get out there and make a difference. Get these pricks out of our club. Thanks, guys. Uru.